The election season here in the United States is in full swing, and you're likely involved in discussions and have certain feelings or emotional um, situations come up within you that are triggering you. In this video, I want to talk about the incredible opportunity there is regarding this whole election cycle and how this represents just an amazing opportunity for you to further ground and integrate your higher self. So this is an important one. Make sure you watch this one all the way through. There's a lot of BS out there regarding the election, regarding your future, regarding who's going to save you, who's going to protect you, who's going to make life better for you. This is all complete and utter nonsense. When you look at this political structure, we are living in a time where things are brought forward and things are said in an effort to control you. And you know what? It's worked for a long, long time. You have given up your power to take control over your very own life. And the longer you continue to buy in to a two-party political system where one is good and one is bad and one's going to save you and one's going to screw you, you are in fact giving your power away to a belief that no longer serves you. And you will continue to experience that same reality over and over again. That's why we're in this experience that we're in now, because people are still so willing to give up control over their lives, to give up their power to choose. They believe what's being said. And when I talk in this video, I'm talking about the political structure in general, the political system. I'm not talking about any specific candidate. I'm not talking about any specific party. So let's throw that out there right now. If you're thinking in terms of good versus bad or good versus evil or truth teller versus liar and all that, you are thinking from a perspective of limiting beliefs. You are limiting yourself to a lower dimensional field and that opens up more opportunity for you to continue to experience a reality of polarity, meaning someone's good, someone's bad. I have to follow that path because I think that one's good and I have to stay away from that because I think that one's bad. Well, you know, a lot of times, in most cases, the information that you're receiving is complete and utter BS, but on some level, you believe it. So you follow it along, right? That is keeping you polarized, okay? Running from something and being drawn to something else based on your programming, your conditioning, maybe even your traumas, your limiting beliefs. You are being kept small. You are keeping yourself disempowered. And we have so many people on this planet right now that are living from the perspective of fear. And if you continue to live from the perspective of fear and in a disempowered state, you will continue to experience more of that. So here's a little secret about the upcoming election. It really doesn't matter. If you are looking at it from a 3D perspective, you're seeing maybe catastrophe if one candidate wins. Maybe things are going to be just amazing and incredible if another one wins. Right? Again, you're polarized. Okay? You cannot anticipate how this ascension process is going to unfold. Okay, so if you're thinking in terms of this candidate needs to win because there's just it's just going to be bad if the other one wins, then you're living in that dense fear energy. Okay, so that is creating a limited or lower frequency timeline. This ascension process is unfolding in a way that you cannot anticipate it. There may be twists, there may be turns that may appear bad because you're in that polarized polarity mindset or frame of mind, you're in fear that you're not going to understand it when these events happen. But when you look back at it from a bigger perspective, you're going to be able to see more clearly why things are unfolding the way they have to unfold. That's why it's so important to be able to trust you, trust your process, trust that you are on this ascension timeline and that things will work out for your highest good. Now, I know it's easy to get drawn back into the political stuff. We're seeing a lot of crazy things happening out there, right? They've been happening for a long, long time. 
It's this old system attempting to maintain control over you. They are energy vampires sucking your power. And how do they do that? How do they suck your power? Well, when you choose to align with fear and feel like you need to be saved, you are giving your power away to some external force. But here's the thing. You're being manipulated because in the political arena, a lot of times what's said is said to simply take, get, get you to willingly give up your power. Okay, and fear is a great tactic for that, isn't it? Right? For eons, the human collective was willingly giving away their power because of fear. People did not feel empowered. They didn't feel confident. They didn't have the strength. They didn't feel safe to stand up for themselves to become empowered and connect with their inner voice. What's happening inside you is the truth for you. When you could get in under the fear, the anxiety, the lack of control over your life, the fact that you want somebody to come in and swoop in and save you, you are giving that power away. Get in under that. Feel the love. Reconnect with the energies that are you, the higher frequency energies that know that this is all happening for your greatest good. Do you want to suffer your way through this? Right? We've got another month, right? Do you want to, two months, do you want to continue to suffer your way through this by hinging on everything that you're hearing from the media and all the fear narratives that are out there, buying into that and further giving away your power because I can assure you, you are being manipulated. Okay? Anytime you give up your power unconsciously most of the time, right? You're just doing it. Why? Well, because you grew up under the umbrella of one political party and that's who you are and that's who you know and that's who you're going to vote for and they're the ones that are good and the other party's bad. You are giving away your power. You are being kept in a lower frequency timeline. You are being controlled by a narrative based on your limiting beliefs, based on what you were taught, based on your programming. Here's another little secret, secret for you. Okay, There are no real parties. It appears that there are no parties. This is all just an energy. It's an energetic system designed to divide you. Okay, This is just a lower frequency timeline. This is energetic from an energetic perspective. That's all it is. All the players you see in your reality are just a manifestation of that energy. They are there to provide you with something incredibly su substantial. That is an opportunity for you to release the programming and the limiting beliefs. For you to reconnect with your higher self. To reconnect with your guidance. To realize, you know what? This is all bunk. None of this is true. I'm going to feel my way through this. I'm going to lean in and I'm going to know that all of this is unfolding because this power structure that was controlling me, making me feel safe, this false sense of safety, is falling away. And it's all coming up to be seen. And it's all coming up to be experienced. And it's all happening for the greater good of humanity. It's part of this ascension timeline. That's what's truly happening right now. Now, I love diving into the political arena and having arguments. I've connected with my Pleiadian guide on this, and we've had discussions. I know what's happening in the third dimension. I know what's happening in the fourth dimension. I know what's going on with the galactic wars. All of those things, these are all potential realities based in different frequencies of energy that you can choose to experience if you feed it enough. I choose to stay in the frequency of love as best as I can, connect with that highest aspect of my Pleiadian guide, who knows and communicates with me that all of this is happening as part of this ascension timeline. All the things unseen that were keeping you small, that were keeping humanity small, that were keeping the collective small, are coming up from the unconscious to the conscious. It's being made conscious. Yeah, there are lots of players in our reality. There's players in the higher dimensional fields that you're probably not aware of, right? But sure enough, you're aware of the players in our reality. Some are good, some are bad. That's what you're being told, right? You are being controlled and you are being manipulated. You are being strung along a timeline so that you could be kept small. The systems, the structures that are out there are designed to keep you small, to keep you disempowered, to make you forget that you are a 
galactic, sovereign being, cosmic being, a being of energy, a being of light, right here to have this expansive experience. Well, you know what? There's energy within you, fear, trauma, programming, limiting beliefs that are keeping you small. And again, they're being reflected in this election cycle as the people or the players that you see playing out those roles. They're playing out those roles for you so that you can become aware of the things that were keeping you small. Take back your power. Reconnect with the love. Reconnect with your higher self. Know that everything that is happening now, everything that is happening in this election cycle, is giving you an opportunity to further explore the depths and the truths of who you are. A limitless, multidimensional, energetic being. You have the opportunity to experience all of that which was unconscious, that was keeping you small, keeping you limited, keeping you disempowered throughout your life. It has all come up to be alchemized, to be processed. We look at it from an energetic perspective. Things are becoming known. The unknown is becoming known. It's time to sit and feel the energy. When you hear something and you feel the fear, it triggers you. Bring it back to the body. Breathe with it. Alchemize it. Remind yourself this is all happening for the greatest good. Don't get caught up in a lower frequency timeline of expectation. If this one wins, we're screwed. If this one wins, we're going to be fine. Do your best to let that go. These things unfold in a way that you cannot anticipate. There are twists and turns along this journey. It's part of the experience. Things happen as they should. You may not agree with it. If you don't agree with it, it's time to look inward and discover what's holding you back from allowing this timeline to unfold. Every major event that's happened over the last four, five, six years, if you sit down and look at it, you can see how it contributed to ascension. It's all there right for you to see. It's all up into the, the reality for you to be able to see it's been made conscious. It's no longer hidden beneath the scenes. These are the gifts that these big events or big times or periods of time along this ascension path, the gifts that, that come to you, they're available to you. They open up doorways of opportunity to further detach from a system of disempowerment, fear, and control and reconnect with the truth of who you are, confident, worthy, safe, stable, anchored, secure, multidimensional beings of light. You're going to inevitably get into conversations with maybe family members or people, co-workers at work, who are hell-bent on staying under or living within their limiting beliefs, living within the programming that they've grown up with, that's been instilled in them when they were young. Don't dive into and become that energy. See it for what it is. An opportunity for you in the moment to reconnect with your truth on a deeper level. Knowing that these events are showing up in your experience to give you that opportunity to further anchor in your light. It means you got to feel that fear. You've got to process that anxiety. You've got to release the expectations of outcomes and remind yourself that it may not look or turn out the way that my 3D self, based on my programming, what I believe, wanted it to end up as, or what I thought it should end up as. But I know in my heart that this is unfolding for my best interest, for the best interest of the planet, for the best interest of the collective. Things are moving upward now. We are releasing these binds of control, these ties of control. These power structures are all coming to light. Again, look at the events that have taken place over the last number of years, and you'll see the control matrix, the control structure very, very clearly. It's all up. It's all available. I don't need to go into it here. It's there. And I know many of you have felt it deep in your heart. Something just didn't feel right. Well, now it's coming up. It's being seen. That means that energy is dying. It's falling away. It can no longer be supported. Why? Because you are reconnecting with your truth or anchoring in your light, anchoring in your higher self and realizing that you are the one that is empowered. You are the one that is in control. 
over how you react to things, how you judge things, how you see things. You have the ability to create space and see things from a more neutral perspective without judgment and bring forward higher frequency emotions, compassion, and trust, and love. These are the timelines that are coming in here to be anchored. It's just showing us everything that's in the way. And it's all out there to be seen. It's all out there to be experienced. So as this election uh, cycle continues to unfold, stay in a state of neutrality, watch from a detached perspective, remind yourself that this is all unfolding for our highest good. Let go of trying to anticipate what you think should happen. Because if you look at it from that perspective, you're going to see there are beliefs in there controlling how you think. And those beliefs were instilled by the lies, by the imp information, by the manipulation that were utilized to keep you in fear and make you feel disempowered. It's all up to be seen. It's all up now. This is an amazing time in history. We are on the threshold of moving to higher frequency timelines. The door is wide open. We just need to release or let go of the fact that we have no control. Take your power back. Find neutrality. Find the stillness within. Watch things unfold as an observer. See how the old is falling away. Connect with love, compassion in your heart. Help to bring that to others who are struggling. Those who are just too embroiled in the unconscious programming of systems and timelines that are falling away. Help them find the truth of who they are by showing them what that looks like within you. We'll get through this. It's going to unfold in an amazing way. Nobody can anticipate it. That's the joy, the excitement of being here at this time. Enjoy the ride. Stay connected and bring your energy. Make it available for others. That light that you are. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. If you're resonating with this, follow your guidance. Watch this one next.